the Lord. Hello, hello, it is and only Texas teacher bringing you no gameplay in this video. However, I have loot boxes. If you have been living under a rock and did not know, there is a new Overwatch event entitled Overwatch Uprising, which goes back in time of Tracer. It tells of her first mission with the Overwatch crew, and it's got a little bit of home for her because this is an Omnic attack against her British home of King's Row. This is a very well put together event, and as any event with Overwatch, it's got a crap ton of new skins, new emotes, new sprays, new voice lines. And I've got five boxes right for the picking, so let's go ahead and jump in and get started. Now notice the boxes look a little bit nicer than the normal ones we get. They're that nice, pretty... I'm really hoping for, they've got a new skin for um, Reaper, which is a... a, a um, and they've got a few others. Genji, which looks freaky. My brother's already got that skin, so I'm kind of hoping I get more new skins than he's got. Just kind of lord them over him. how it pops down okay let's see what we got well we got a skin but we got a duplicate skin so we get money off of it we got a voice line for diva got a spray for arista can't remember his damn name um god damn it can't remember his damn name well let's open the next one regardless okay well we got a skin maybe Victory pose. Oh. Ah, for our Lucy. And, and this is special for this event. That's why it's got that little uh, big bin in the background. Ah. Uh, let's see, we got a try. Money for it. I uh, always like that. It was for Mr. Torbjorn. He's got a new costume. Sign for Lucio, so. Give me skins. Oh, I think we got something. Ah, oh, shit, just money. Hell on this one. Uh, why is my controller up enough? Come on, man. We got money. We got 150. Guess you're gonna little bombs away thing. Can I be like real money? I wish. Oh, come on, give me skins. Damn it, it's letting me down. Spray, voice line. Oh my god, my controller's effing up. Who's this for? Player. Oh, it's one of the uh, things you go up against in this. And there's a spray for god damn it. I'm not even playing. Ain't shit. Okay, we've got three blues, so there's possibility. Oh, shit, a goddamn duplicate. We got a spray for uh, Mr. McCree. We'll take these. That looks nice. I like it a little bit. And we got more money, 50 bucks. So, God, out of five loot. Well, let's go to the thing. For her, it doesn't look like it, although this is, this looks like it would be about that time period. Uh, voice line for her, mother knows best. That sounds familiar. That sounds like from Tangled. Uh-huh. Okay, so we got all four of her voice lines. Let's see sprays for her. Okay, let's see about some of the others. Let's see, we got Diva. So you got any skins for this event? Huh. God damn, that's kind of disappointing. Oh, the event's got a lot of skins. Just not for anybody I've come across yet. Okay, I got all her... 
PNG one. That's I know it has one because, like I said, my brother's already won it. Uh, let's see, Black Watch. Hmm. Very much shows that he is. And to be left to have a physical human arm out. Damn, that's and three thousand. Are you shitting me? After agreeing to aid the organization, Genji was upgraded extensively by Watch's cybernetics. I'm guessing that's when this happened. So it goes from what you saw to this. Okay. That's expensive as shit. Let's see if Hanzo even got. I mean, I'm, I'm curious who got skins. Nothing. Craig, get anything? No. Damn, nice shit. None for Lucio. McCree. Got, yes, he got a Blackwatch skin. Which he doesn't even have his mechanical arm or his bounce uh, buckle. Young Jesse McCree was recruited into Black Watch after Gabriel Reyes saw his potential. Black Watch or a uh, rotten prison. See, this would be an awesome one. The pistol even has got a laser sight and it's much more. That's badass. I want that. I mean, like I said, he's missing his mechanical arm at this point. Okay. My. Okay. Seriously, get my damn nerves. I check my controller out after this because this is really weird. Mercy now has got one because I saw it in the actual game itself, which I will be posting uploaded videos. I mean, she saw much. She's much younger than she normally looks. Um. Called upon Mercy would don her Valkyrie Swift response suit to participate in Overwatch missions. Damn, it looks awesome. I have to admit. Okay, what about Arissa? Because it'd be nice. Oh, yep. I fought enough of these bastards. Actual thing. During the King's Row Uprising, Null Sector employed redesigned and upgraded OR 14 Adena bots to secure. I mean, it's kind of like Terminator-esque to me. Damn. And there are 3,000 so far. Or not. <laughs> Nothing for her. Nothing for the Zinya. Zarya. Nothing. I'm a little disappointed. Now, I know what a micro does. She has a black watch skin, which does not look horrible. Like they did some of the other characters, but she looks much more human than she normally does because she doesn't look all well, perfect. Significantly different. <laughs> Tracer, of course, she's the main focus of it, so she's got one. Cadet Austin. Tracer was put into active duty as an Overwatch agent for the first time during the King's Row Uprising. So, I like the blue of the suit. I have to admit, it's got a very nice look to it. Uh, a lot cleaner than some of their later costumes. Uh, Torbjorn, since he's one of the I know he has a... He's got two, okay? So he's got this one, which for many years, Torbjorn served as Overwatch's chief engineer, designing many of the organization's iconic weapons and technology. I like the baseball cap. I like that. And then here is this one, which actually shows him still having a hand. Do you still have that? No, this one is clearly Captain Mechanical. 
Pop any of the others. Nope. Uh, you figure Sombra would at least have a uh, black one, considering she was one of them. Now, I doubt they'll have anything for him, but I mean, you notice they even put stuff next to their names now for old skins. After the Omnic Crisis, Jack Morrison was promoted to Strike Commander of Old And that you got if you got the original thing. Now, uh, let's see. Roadhog. Art. I know his skin since he's one of the ones in the event. And it is nowhere near as expensive as his normal stuff. Lieutenant Reinhardt Wilhelm served with distinction in his time during Overwatch, notably leading the strike team that ended the King's Row uprising. I like the Overwatch logo. than some of his normal stuff that does have a tendency to look scuffed up, roughed up. You know what I mean? Or my boy, my Reaper. Not a goddamn thing. Let's see if I add anything to Black Yes. Right team during the Omnic Crisis and later commanded Black Watch, the organization's covert ops division. So that's, that's pretty badass. And I as of course, I got the Origins Edition, which had a bunch of these skins. Of course, that one was probably one of the best video game things I've ever purchased because I got it for seven bucks. We're out there and get new games all the time for seven bucks. Anyway, this is just a nice little start to the Overwatch Uprising um, thing. I will post video playthroughs, both of the four-person strike team, and for the play, whoever the hell you want mode. Um, and if I get other boxes, I hope that y'all have enjoyed this. This has been the Texas Teacher. Class is dismissed. Y'all have a